Welcome back into the Odd Shopper YouTube channel, guys. My name is Jeff Ulrich, and in this video, we're going to be bringing you a little bit of No House Advantage NBA action for Friday, November 25th, Black Friday here. We're going to be talking uh, on the Odd Shopper channel. We're going to be talking about their versus the house contest on No House Advantage. And here, we're creating essentially parlay style multiplier tickets. We're going to take a bunch of props. We're going to put them together. You can put them together however you want on No House Advantage for different multiplier payouts. You can get multipliers up to 20x on No House Advantage. Again, give yourselves a chance at really big payouts, quite frankly, which is awesome. Uh, two different ways to play on No House Advantage. Also have the, uh, the Pick'em Contest, which is, again, more of a DFS style lineup for creating prop-based style lineups, different values associated to each prop, and then putting them in a big contest to play against other people. But here versus the house, we're just playing against those advantage. We're trying to create winning tickets again, you know, two, three, four ticket. You can even go up to five props on the same ticket and get big payouts. So that's what we're going to be focusing on for this video. If you are new to Nose Advantage as well, use promo code stochastic when you sign up. $50 match deposit bonus. When you do that, gives you free money to play with on the site. You deposit $50. They give you $50 in return. It's that simple. Promo code Stochastic. Also free projections over on Stochastic.com for No House Advantage. So lots going on here with No House Advantage. As always, it's a great site. A couple different ways to play. And here on Odd Shopper, we got great picks for all the different sports. So there's more videos coming up. Smash the like button on this one if you could. And then subscribe to the Odd Shopper YouTube channel. Guys, again, you won't be disappointed. Lots more videos coming up after me, but stay here for now because we're going we're gonna to get right into it. We're going to get into these props. Again, I got four props coming at you for Friday. We got a pretty busy slate. Not too much injury news. Like for the NBA, it's okay. So that's good. And we're going to start off with a nice little over here. We're going to attack this Minnesota game here. And, and, and I like this game. I like this game for props. I like this game just for the Minnesota players in general. Should be a big night for them, I think. Uh, taking on the Charlotte Hornets, always a fast-paced up team. Uh, Timberwolves with a decent implied team total, over 115 right now. now. Let's look at Anthony Edwards for our first overplay. He's got a 22.5 prop. I like going over this on Edwards. He's been really good of late. He's averaged over 26 points now, or over 25 points, I should say, over his last four games. So did go under this in his last two games but before that. 25, 35 points. He's been in good form. This is a really good matchup as well. Paced up matchup against the Hornets. I think Edwards is a player you want to go over on, whether it's points, rebounds, and assists or points. 22.5 points. I like this. Um, it, it's, it seems like maybe a little bit big when you look at it on the surface. But again, we're talking about a team uh, in the Charlotte Hornets who, you know, paced up, uh, allow the, the eighth most points against in the league. So, I mean, it's just a good matchup all around for Edwards. And when Edwards is a player in good matchup and he gets some confidence, he's probably he, he's going to hit this over on, on, on a lot of occasions. So, Anthony o Edwards, over 22.5 pure points. Let's start there. Again, like the Timberwolves, it's a paced up game. Uh, lots of offensive fire, firepower there. And Edwards has just been in good form. So, we're going to go over 22.5 points to start. Let's stick to the other side of that game. Let's actually take an under... Uh, on a Charlotte Hornets player. Let's go under P.J. Washington, 16.5 points. Again, you look at this matchup here. I think it's just a bad one for Washington. I think it's just bad for uh, the Hornets in general. Do like the, the the Timberwolves quite a bit in this spot tonight. P.J. Washington, you know, what does he do? He takes a lot of threes. I mean, he takes a lot of outside shots. And, you know, if, if you look, he, he has gone over this point total in three of his last four games now. So maybe you say that's worrisome. But P.J. Washington also went under this total in three straight games prior to that. He's going to be a hot and cold shooter. And tonight he's probably going to see, be seeing a lot of Carl Anthony Towns on the outside. That's a tough matchup. You got a mobile big player, big wingspan. I think it's going to really hamper P.J. Washington's shot. Uh, and, and if he's not getting his shot off, he's just not going to score many points. Uh, you got, you know, Gobert in the inside as well. So... P.J. Washington, a player I don't mind actively fading here. I think people may look at this prop and go, well, he's gone, he's gone over this easily in three of his last four, but this really isn't a good spot for P.J. Washington, in my opinion. Uh, the Hornets only have a 110 implied team total. It's not that small, but it's not that big either. Could even see some kind of blowout scenario here from the Timberwolves, in my opinion. Really like Minnesota. Don't like the Charlotte Hornets side. Let's go under P.J. Washington, 16.5 points here. I think it's going to be a tough matchup for him to get over. So that's two from the same game here. And I like correlating props like that. So I think it's a good one to do it. Again, if you're playing for that blow, Timberwolves win. It just means Edwards getting a ton of points. And it means P.J. Washington 
probably not playing that much and getting shut down as well. So those are gonna be our first two. Let's move to a different game here. Let's just move to a different player altogether. Let's go to Jalen Smith of the Indiana Pacers. We got a close game spread here between the Brooklyn Nets uh, and, and the Indiana Pacers, but I'm not going to target Smith for points. I'm going to target Smith for rebounds. And specifically, we're going to go under 6.5 rebounds here. Th this rebound prop on Smith is interesting. He he's a, he's only really averaging around 24, 23 minutes per game. So that's a big rebound prop right off the bat for a player who, again, rotationally doesn't play that much. Now, he went over this in his last game, but he only went over by one rebound, seven rebounds. And if you look through his game log, it's way up and down. I mean, he had 11 rebounds four games ago, but then he had five five and one in the other three games before that. So um, this is just a player who's very inconsistent on the rebounding side. You got a Brooklyn's Nets team who, you know, they're actually a pretty solid rebounding team just in terms of what they allow to other teams. So uh, regardless, I, I just don't really like this prop for Jalen Smith. I think it's too big. Uh, we're we're going to go under this 6.5 rebounds for the night. Um, Jalen Smith just very up and down in terms of his production. And I really think that this prop is just kind of juiced up from the fact that he, he's had a couple big rebounding performance games. Like he had an 18 rebound performance like uh, five or six games ago. But in between, it's just kind of been a lot of nothing and uh, or, or just a very little bit in between. So not really too bullish on, on him in this game again. Uh, Nets, not the worst rebounding team, but that doesn't really matter to me. It's more just the usage here that we're getting for Jalen Smith, which just isn't good enough for me to take it over. We're going to go under 6.5 rebounds for Jalen Smith. Okay, let's uh, let's head to, let's stick with the rebounds. I don't mind rebounds. I mean, they're, they're a fairly interesting category in terms of you kind of know what you're getting as long as, uh, you know, your, your player stays on the floor. But uh, I'm going to go to DeMontis Sabonis for our next rebound prop. We're going to go over this, actually. He's got an 11.5 rebound prop. And that does sound pretty big on the face of it, but I think Sabonis is going to be in for a pretty big game. And kind of unlike Jalen Smith, Sabonis has been very consistent of late. He's got a better than advertised matchup. I, I almost consider taking Sabonis over on his prop, uh, point prop here as well against the, the, the Boston Celtics. I don't even really mind that. Celtics defensively, not so great uh, just in terms of allowing points, especially inside. But I'm going to go over 11.5 rebounds for Sabonis here. Um, one of the reasons why Boston's allowing quite a few points, they allow a lot of rebounds. And, and I think Sabonis is in a good place to get points because of, he's going to get a lot of rebounds. So 11.5 points, he's actually gone over this in three straight games as well. And this is a player who's going to be on the floor a lot. We don't need to worry about his minutes. Um, Sabonis in this game, going to be pivotal for Sacramento just to keep this one close, in my opinion. Should be uh, you know a, a decently paced game here. Uh, he's played over 32 minutes and four straight. I, a good matchup here, really. Like, I don't think we need to worry about him getting in foul trouble or anything like that. I think Sabonis is in a place where he could just dominate tonight and potentially be like one of the, just the best DFS scorers um, from this game. So 11.5 rebound prop. Again, he's gone over this in three straight. And even in the games where he goes under here, you know, it's it's kind of like game flow is taking him out. Like something happens, his, his minutes get cut because his rebounds have been very, very solid of late. So, um, you know, he had 22 like six games ago, but we only need him to get 12 here. And he's done that. He's gotten 12 or more in three straight. I think that trend continues tonight. I think he has a big game against Boston. So uh, Donata Sabonis, again, a player I like tonight for points and rebounds. We're going to go over 11.5 rebounds here for our last prop. So quick recap, we're going to go Anthony Edwards over 22.5 points. PJ Washington under 16.5 points from the same game. Jalen Smith under 6.5 rebounds. Just very erratic player, not playing that much. Then we're going to go over 11.5 rebounds for DeMontis Sabonis. Again, the complete opposite player is good. should be on the floor a ton. Uh, been very consistent in that category of late. So those are going to be our four props for No House Advantage. Four there versus the house contest. Again, you can take those. You can put them in a multiplier uh, ticket, how, parlay ticket, however you want. In the versus the house contest, get different payouts. Obviously, a couple different ways to play on No House Advantage. But main thing is, if you're new to the site, Use promo code Stochastic there. $50 match deposit bonus right off the top. And free projections over on Stochastic.com as well for No House Advantage. So that's going to be it, guys. Check out the next video coming up on Odd Shopper. Lots of great stuff. Most important thing, though, have yourselves a great Friday of NBA action. My name's Jeff Ulrich, and we'll talk to you again soon.